I'm not quite sure. I was planning on letting the chips fall where they may. Well, that sounds grand. Nice to meet you, Jean. Actually, I think the teams are comprised of four students each, so... Hello again. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Sadly, the cereal isn't very good for you. So Actually, Jean, I think you'd make a great leader. I'm sorry. It was nice meeting you. I'm sorry. Jean? Do you have any spots left on your team? Gunfire. It seems some of our comrades have encountered the enemy. Jean! I'm sorry. Why didn't you activate your aura? Your aura, Jean. Do you know what aura is? Aura is the manifestation of our soul. It bears our burdens and shields our hearts. Have you ever felt like you were being watched without knowing that someone was there? With practice, our aura can be our shield. Everyone has it, even animals. No, the monsters we fight lack a soul. They are creatures of grim. The manifestation of anonymity. They are the darkness, and we are the light. It's not about why, it's about knowing. Understanding both dark and light helps us manifest our aura. Everyone has some of both. By bearing your soul outward as a force, you can deflect harm. All of our tools and equipment are conduits for aura. You project yourself and your soul when fighting. No. Yes. If you want to look at it that way. Now, close your eyes and concentrate. For it is in passing that we achieve immortality. Through this, we become a paragon of virtue and glory to rise above all, infinite in distance and unbound by death. I release your soul, and by my shoulder protect thee. It's all right. I used my aura to unlock yours, but the energy that protects you now is your own. You have a lot of it. I'm not sure this is it. Do you feel that? No, it's warm. Jean? <gasps> Jean! Whatever you do, don't let go. Jean! Go, go! <laughs> Done. Jean, are you okay? Jean, Cardin has been picking on you since the first week of school. Jean, you know if you ever need help, you can just ask. Atrocious. I can't stand people like him. You're not the most open-minded of individuals, are you, Cardin? No, I have the answer. It's night vision. Many faunas are known to have nearly perfect sight in the dark. You go on ahead. I'll wait for Jean. You know, I really will break his legs. I have an idea. Here, come with me. Uh no! That's not why I brought you up here. Jean, I know you're having a difficult time in class and that you're still not the strongest of fighters, so I want to help you. We can train up here after class where no one can bother us. N no, no, that's not what I meant. Jean, everybody needs a little push from time to time. It doesn't make you any different from the rest of us. You made it to Beacon. That speaks volumes of what you're capable of. That's a terrible thing to say. Of course you do. What do you mean? What? But why? C then let me help you. John, I if that's what you think is best, I'm sure our leader knows exactly what he's doing. John, you two, go with them. There could be more. Wait. Well, Ruby has her speed. You have your glyphs. My semblance is polarity. We could, or perhaps we could just keep it our little secret. No card in tonight? I thought you two were best buds. Ed. John, it's okay. Your team really misses their leader, you know. You should come down. Ren made pancakes. No syrup though, you can thank Nora for that. Your stance is all wrong. You need to be wider and lower to the ground. Let's try that again. <laughs>